what is going on you guys it's your boy caesar today is dunk restock pickup day and you guys already know i took some w's it was a little bit tougher than what i thought it was gonna be so i'm gonna break down like what stores i put in for how many dubs i got how many wait lists i got all that good stuff okay but today the photon dust I probably messed that up the pronunciation but it's the gray and white dunks they came out today so on sneakers i took three l's i i didn't even get close i guess and i even went for like generic sizing and i still didn't hit so i did not have good luck on sneakers and i didn't have I didn't have no luck on the FLX neither. Like, I took straight L's on that shoe completely. So, I'm assuming that the stock was not high on the Photon Dust. I, I like, I just, I don't know. That's the only thing I could come up with because right now I'm at 1.7 million FLX points. So, there shouldn't be a reason that, you know, that, that I wasn't able to cop. I should have got like a generic size at least. I want to say I put in for size 8 in women's and that is a very generic size for women's they make more i should say common size not generic size i should say common size because they make more of that size still took that l but it is what it is okay so they did also restock uh the different dunks right and then we're gonna go over those right now so we'll, we'll break it down store by store i am also going to be picking up right now so I, I'm, I'm on the way there there's a little bit of traffic i'm in san diego so uh, we are going to do pickups so let's start with Foot Locker. so Foot Locker, there was five dunks that were actually on there for for the raffle to actually put in for reservation i should say and i uh actually there was four total of four from Foot Locker, and i took l's on three of them and then one i was waitlisted and then i want to say also the the dunk highs those uh, all-star week ones there was actually none in my area okay so those ones were out so i straight up got i got a wait list on one i lost the three so on that one wait list it did not turn into a w so on foot locker i'm not picking up anything so let's move over to foot action foot action like normal did not have anything in my area within the 100 mile radius so i was disappointed but like foot action the closest foot action i've told you guys before it's in irvine which is like 80 miles away from here from san diego where i live so i didn't expect too much from from foot action so let's move it to oh the, the reason i also took l's on the flx was because like in this area for for uh, foot locker there was only one store in my immediate area the 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 second closest one was the one up in irvine so usually there's like at least like five stores within the san diego area so once i saw that i was not confident at all and i was like man i might you know might not take that many dubs on this drop okay so foot action i told you guys there was nothing in foot action in my the 100 mile radius so let's go to kids foot locker so kids foot locker i was able to reserve different pairs i want to say it was a total of six pairs and then the day before um the dunks went out i checked up on my reservations and they were all wiped out so they must have notified me that they returned my points i just never seen it and i went back in there and i checked each one individually the only one that I could put in for in my area was the, the Dunk uh, Low Pandas, the black and white ones in grade school, right? So I put in for those, I got waitlisted for those, and then I took a big fat L on those, and those are doing real good, real good on the resale. They're actually doing way better than the than the men's pair. So I was, I was surprised there. I haven't been keeping up with all the Dunks, but like the GS ones are doing real good in numbers, real good. Okay, so Champs, I did take some dubs of Champs, man. Okay, so Champs, I put in for five shoes total on Champs. I took three Ws, like straight up Ws, and I got waitlisted twice on Champs, right? The good thing about Champs, those three Ws, is they're in my local mall, so I don't even have to go, you know, I don't have to drive far, I should say. I'm on my way home right now. Today is a weekday, so I didn't have to work, so I'm, I'm headed to the mall right now to pick them up, and I got waitlisted twice, and those two wait lists, I thought at least one of them was gonna turn into a W. And I put it for the, the black and white, the pandas in my size, size 11. And I was like, 
should I resell them? Should I kind of like, because I did, I was able to get one on the last restock. So this isn't my first um, dunk restock I've been picking up. So I picked up on the last one. So I thought I was going to pick up on the, this one. But like I said, stock must have been at an all time low because your boy wasn't doing that. Didn't get that many dubs, I should say. I didn't get that many, but three is good. If you guys did not win on this restock, do not beat yourself up. Like, I'm telling you guys, I'm at 1.7 million FLX points. And you guys, I only took three dubs. So, don't beat yourself up if you didn't take a W. Like, that's just what it is. Stock numbers are low. Okay, so I wanted to talk about the Jordan 7, the PSGs. They're supposed to be coming out on Saturday. But I can't put in my reservations yet. So, that is not a good sign. When that happens... That means more than likely it's gonna get pushed back. I don't wanna do the bare bad news on you guys, but it's probably gonna get pushed back. I don't know. They have a, so today's Wednesday, they have Thursday, and then Friday is the actual reservation. So they gotta hurry up and put those on once they start getting, you know, stock in, they're gonna be able to actually um, register for a reservation. So we'll see how it is, but it's not looking good at all. So I am en route to Plaza Bonita Mall, and that's the one that has like Foot Locker, Foot Action, and they're all in a row. So we're gonna go look for goodies, see what there is to pick up. And I have been getting some comments on like what shoes should uh, you know people start picking up to build their FLX points. And one of the tips I do have for you is Air Force Ones. So don't go for like the all white or the all black air force ones even though those still in certain sizes they could get you your money back and then build your your points but i'm talking about like the special air force ones the ones that have different colorways look for those you guys go to the SKU, you look it up in stock x see what you can get your money back on but that is one shoe that i always go looking for like if i see an air force one and i haven't checked it in a while i'll go and i'll look for it just to see what the flx points you know could could build you and then you can actually get your money back you guys already know i'll take a hit i'll take a ten dollar hit twenty dollar hit if i buy at one of the flx stores which is foot locker champs foot action uh east bay all those stores i will take a hit if it's one of those stores i don't like taking hits on any other stores because other stores don't build up points like that okay so i did want to say that the cardi b's did a restock today and i your boy picked up two cardi b's so building my points that way i did pick up the simpsons forums from Foot Locker, so i've been building and building my points you guys so i did start the day with 1.7 Hopefully I remember to tell you guys what my updated points is at the end of the day after I pick up. And I do plan on picking up something from Champ. So we'll see what they have. We'll see what kind of goodies they have. So let's go get it. I did hit up Shoe Palace real quick and they didn't really have anything in there. They did have those mids, but they're not going for much. They did have the PS and the toddler um, Jordan 5 Raging Bulls, but those aren't going for anything either. So they didn't even have any raffles. I asked them about the Jordan 7 PSGs. They said they weren't getting them. So I don't know, it's not looking too good. So let's go to, we're gonna go to Foot Locker next. So they have the seven flints inside Foot Locker. They're not doing so good. If you could get a size 14, they're doing all right right now. You get your money back anyways, but uh, they are not doing that great. Nothing too crazy at Kids Foot Locker either. I'm about to go to finish line. Uh, hopefully I post the video in time, but they do have a finish line raffle for Jordan 5 Raging Bulls or the Toro Bravos. And then they also have a raffle for the Jordan 3. I forget what they're called, Arctic Pink. I forget, but they are pink and they're on the raffle right now for finish line. So I'm gonna see if I could buy anything to build a couple of my points because I did use some points for those two raffles. Hopefully I hit both of them, if not just one, but uh, let's check out what finish line has now.
All right, you guys, finish line really didn't have much. I will probably won't even be able to get my money back fully. So it would just be the points, the status points. And I do have like a little over 4,000, so I'm cool right now. Okay, so now it's time to pick up the dunks. We're about to pick them up at Champs. And I even made a, a list for them so they could just like go back there and give me the sizes and all that stuff. It's crazy that I hit all three in this one spot because I did put in for two other spots. But like I said, the other spots were a drive. So luckily I got them here right next to the house. you guys we just picked up and i did talk to the girl that was right behind me in line she has 1.1 million flx points and she only got one w so out of 10 shoes one w at 1.1 million so do not feel bad if you guys didn't hit and that is in san diego so it's probably tougher in some of the bigger cities so let's go to the car i want to show you guys what i got and we're gonna go from there all right, you guys, I did give you a little preview there at Champs of what I got, but I want to show you guys. Okay, now this dunk right here, it is a women's dunk, and this is called the Orange Pearl. I do not know why it's called the Orange Pearl, because to me, it looks very much pink. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks more orange on the bottom than it does on the side right here. It looks like a different color. I don't know. You guys, let me let me know what you guys think. So these ones are uh, pretty much a clean uh, $80 profit right here for just this one right here. Let me show you guys what I got right here. So this is a grade school. I wasn't able to cop on an adult size, but I was on a grade school. I'm telling you guys, this release was crazy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say that the stock was not good at all. But the GS pairs are going for more than the men's pairs. This shoe actually came out in women's, men's, and they're the same thing, and then also GS. So actually they came out in GS, PS, and toddler. They had the whole lineup for this shoe right here. You guys, grade school, this is gonna be 160 clean after processing fee, all that good stuff. So I'm just so happy that I was able to hit on this. I did want to look at that men's pair, but you know, it's all good. Okay, so this is my third W, and like I said, you guys, I'm at 1.7. I was supposed to check my points because I did some online shopping at FLX, and then I got this. I should be close to the 1.8 million FLX points. I'll be pretty close. If not, I'm probably like, I don't know, maybe like 100,000 shy, 200,000 shy. Not sure, but I'm definitely going to get to 2 million pretty soon here, you guys. So this is the NLUV, is it? I forgot what this was called, you guys, but it's a gray and red dunk, and this is also grade school, so this is the size 5, this is the size 7, and then I hit a size 9 in women's in this, and you guys, that's the importance of building up your FLX points. I say points are worth gold, but that's just what I say, like, I'm telling you guys, if you have to go spend some money and, and then you know you're going to break even or lose a couple bucks, it's definitely worth it in the long run, you guys. I only got three. I was I was ready to drive up north to Irvine and all that good stuff, but too bad I couldn't get those Ws, but I did end up picking up these three right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to like any question, comments, of course, down below. Consider subscribing if you like sneaker content, and I will check you guys out in the next video.